Good morning, everybody, and happy Tuesday is your favorite Michigan girl. And I am here for my Disney obsession today. Okay, so yesterday I posted my trailer reaction to the movie yesterday as requested, and BB-8 trying to roll away from me. Behave, BB. Um, so yesterday I did the yesterday trailer reaction. That's totally weird. Well, after I posted that, I was online doing my normal, like, social media, which basically social media for me is I just go online to Twitter, I go online to Instagram, I do Twitter, I do Facebook, and I really don't actually post anything. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I'm just going there and get my news and stuff. And lo and behold, Disney finally dropped the official trailer for Aladdin, which is going to be released May 24th of this year, so May 24th. 2019 is going to be the new live action Aladdin. Um, it's kind of weird they are releasing a, a trailer because they did a teaser trailer a few months ago, which I did not do a reaction to, but I watched. I liked it. And then a few weeks ago, they released a what they were calling a special look, which I guess was teaser trailer number two, which I did film a reaction to simply because I'd seen all this. Uh, stuff about the people's reactions to Will Smith as the blue version of Jeannie. Um, I, like I said, I did find that a little bit jarring. Um, I know people, I, my, I think my brother came after me. He's like, he's not going to be like Robin Williams. I'm like, I know Will Smith is not going to be Robin Williams. I think Will Smith is going to be the best version of Jeannie Will Smith can be. I mean, I have seen a couple Will Smith stuff. I love him in Fresh Prince. Um, I know Will Smith can be very comedic, can be very funny, and I think he will do wonderful as this version of the genie. Um, my issue was, is that seeing him, I, I just felt like they took Robin Williams genie, turned it into a CGI thing, and then just photoshopped Will Smith's face on, on it. Um, that was my thing, was that I think, well, I loved his introduction as a, as a genie. I loved that. However, I, I felt like they, with that version, that um, genie format, they just kind of just, photoshopped Will Smith uh, face onto the genie face. That was my issue. Um, and like I said, I did not know. Maybe they are still kind of working on it. Maybe that was why they gave us a sneak look. The special look is because they were still kind of working on some kinks. So who knows? But this is the first trailer. Um, I do hope, I am hopefully going to go see Aladdin. Like I said, I'm actually kind of excited for it. That sneak look, the teaser trailer, I really liked what I was seeing. I really liked the vibrant colors of the costumes. I mean, it's got the original music. Um, the actors all look really well cast. Um, I think, so I'm actually really, even Will Smith, I said, um, when I heard Will Smith was going to be the genie, I, or when I first heard that, I did not immediately go, oh my gosh, no. I actually was somewhat excited for Will Smith being the genie because I actually think he'll do an amazing job as a genie. I, like I just said, it was just the format of the genie's appearance in the sneak look that threw me for a loop. So, but here today we have this dropped yesterday. I did not do it. I did not do the reaction yesterday because I was like, uh, no. <laughs> um, it's a miracle I was still able to do two reactions last Wednesday. Was it really last Wednesday? I did two reactions. Oh my gosh! And again, I want to thank everybody for Star Wars always. I know I keep saying this, but um. Yesterday, I checked, and I had over 800 views on my Star Wars Always reaction. Thank you guys so, so, so much. Um, I'm always so excited when I get, like, five views on one video. So to have a video go over 800 views and have so many likes and comments and even dislikes, that just makes me so happy. And like I said yesterday in the Yesterday trailer, oh, my gosh, uh, reaction, I feel like, I am being somewhat, I don't want to say vindicated, but I guess I am doing something right if many, if a lot of people keep coming back to watch my trailer reactions and don't particularly care about the fact that I don't have the screen within a screen. Personally, I watch a lot of trailer reactions, and my thing is, as I like having the screen within the screen, the video and stuff like that, um, my issue is, is half the time I find myself watching the trailer and not the reaction. So I'm, so I kind of do like it with my reactions that I don't have that because you're just getting my reaction and you're not getting distracted by the trailer or in what I'm watching. But at the same time, I do understand why people like that. I like it. I just don't have that. I don't even know how to do it. Let me put it this way. I don't really know how to vlog. <laughs> like literally this is it. So, um, 
I've been chatting. You guys are probably ready and waiting to see my reaction. You guys know I am a huge Disney fan, so it takes a, so Disney has to be doing something really, really badly to disappoint me. Um, so I'm a huge Disney fan. I'm ready for this. It's rainy. It's dreary outside. Let's get started. This is my reaction to the first trailer for Walt Disney's Aladdin dropping May 24th, 2019. Here we go. Yay, it's working. <laughs> I don't have any keys. I have this. Oh! Oh my gosh, Parkour. Amazing. You stumbled upon an opportunity. I can make you rich. Rich enough to impress a princess. What would I have to do? There's a cave of wonders. Bring me the lamp. Summons me. I stand by my oath. Loyalty to which oh is three. I'm kidding. Watch this. Oh my gosh! Uh, you know what I'll be up? You ain't never had a friend like me. Oh yeah, I like you make me a prince? There is a lot of gray area in make me a prince. I could just make you a prince. Oh, no. Y'all see my palace? <laughs> On the outside. But I didn't change anything on the inside. Showtime. No, I'm in charge. Okay. I say when it's time. Really? <laughs> I thought a princess could go anywhere. Not this princess. Do you trust me? Definitely looked a lot better. I don't know what they did in the sneak look, the special look. Jeannie Wilsmasini looked so much better this time around in the trailer. I, I don't know why. I started crying a little bit when I saw the trailer for Dumbo. If you guys watch my reaction, I start tearing up a little bit. But that's because Baby Mine is like one of my favorite songs. And without fail, I always cry. Um, I'm actually starting to tear up. And I don't know why I'm tearing up. But... From the trailer, like I said, the special look, I was kind of taken aback. I'm so happy that Jeannie looks so much better in the trailer, the official trailer for Aladdin. Um, so I'm wondering, like I said, if maybe they were still working out the kinks, if that was just something to get us through to the trailer. But he looks so much better. Oh my gosh. The costumes are still... They are spot on. I am loving the costumes. They are what I would expect from a remake of Aladdin. They are absolutely gorgeous. They fit in well. Um, I am loving the bright, vibrant colors, which I feel like in the original animation, that's something that's lacking, is the bright, vibrant colors. And that's something I didn't notice as a child watching Aladdin, but it is something I noticed as an adult because I did take a few art history classes and I did study the art hit the um, art and the culture of the Middle East, of that section of Africa, where Aladdin is um, set. So I ha so knowing that, it's something as an adult, that watching the original animation, it doesn't take anything away from the original Aladdin movie. It's just that as an adult, having studied stuff like that, I now look at it and go, well, the costumes are kind of there, but um, it's lacking the vibrant colors that that area can be known for, the really pretty vibrant colors so I'm really happy to see that the costumes are slightly are more authentic and also they have that beautiful bright vibrant color palette 
that when I think of that region, I automatically think of that, of these really, and it seems odd to say that, but it's true, I think of these really bright, vibrant colors. So I'm really happy to see that they have this really bright, vibrant color palette for the costumes, for the set. Um, I'm loving it. I mean, first off, you see Aladdin running through the streets during, like, parkour. It was awesome to see that. I love the fact that not only do we have Abu and Iago, but we also have Raj the Tiger, which for me as a little girl, that was like, though, I always loved animals, and I had goats growing up, and I had gerbils and guinea pigs and stuff, and hamsters, but I, the one thing I loved as a little girl was I loved the fact that Jasmine had a tiger. Tigers are like one of my favorite animals in the world. I love big cats, so I always wanted a tiger. So it's so wonderful to see that they included not only Abu and Iago, but they also have Raj, which is so amazing. So I really think this is going to be um, a wonderful, I, I'm certain they are going to pay tribute to the original in so many ways. But at the same time, like with all the new um, live action versions of these anime classics we saw as a kid. It's so nice to see it updated. Um, it's so nice to see maybe more personality given to characters that we haven't seen, maybe a little more fleshing out of the backstory. I mean, Will Smith is definitely playing his version of the genie, and from and it's, it's not Robin Williams. It can never be Robin Williams. But I am enjoying what I've seen so far of his performance as a genie. He is giving it his taste, and I'm loving it because but I love Will Smith's um, sassiness, so his sassiness, I guess you could say. So I'm loving that um, the Will Smith performance is so cool, and it just it is adding so much more. I mean, I think we're going to get a little more time seeing Aladdin and Jasmine fall in love, much like in the live action version of Cinderella. I mean, as a teen, as a kid, as a teenager, you don't really stop to think about the fact that these people are just meeting for the first time and falling in love, and it's like, ooh, instant spark done. Um, I mean, Beauty and Beast did a wonderful job of not having Belle and the Beast just automatically fall into each other's arms. They had to grow and work together. Um, and I think that is one thing I'm really loving about the live-action Disney movies like Cinderella is now they're going back and it's not just, oh, oh my gosh, automatically love at first sight. Now we're going to have these leads meet each other and build up to that. And I think we're going to see that in the line too. Is there gonna, instant attraction is still there. But we're still going to have to see them work and fight for their relationship. So I'm really just loving this idea. I mean, I I was on edge. I was on the fence when Disney announced that they were doing a bunch of their old animated movies as live actions. But so far, I am really enjoying the results. We've had Cinderella. We've had Maleficent, which they are doing a sequel to, which I am absolutely thrilled about because I loved Maleficent. Um... Aladdin looks really good. I cannot wait to go see Dumbo this month when it comes out. They just had, like, the premiere of Dumbo. I looks, oh, my gosh, I cannot wait to go see Dumbo. Um, Aladdin, I'm excited about Aladdin. I'm still not 100% sure about The Lion King, simply because, like I said, I don't feel like I would call it a live-action movie because it is pretty much CGI. It's, to me, it's just an animated remake. However, I would probably go see The Lion King, simply because you do have... Um, James Earl Jones back as the voice of Mufasa. Um, James Oliver, John Oliver, James Oliver, the guy who does the daily um, um, last week tonight, whatever it's called, he's the voice of Zazu, which I am excited for because I absolutely love him. Um, Daniel Glover, I did not know this until recently, he's the voice of Simba, so that's another draw to get me to go see The Lion King because I actually do like Daniel Glover. So, but yeah, but with this being said, Aladdin, you guys, the trailer definitely, I think, makes up for that sneak look, for that special look. Um, I do feel like now that they just weren't finished rendering Genie, just cobbled together that and went, here you guys go, something to hold you over until we're done. Um, so the, the trailer definitely made up for that sneak look. I'm loving the music. That is definitely something I remember from Disney animated movies is the music. We didn't get that with Cinderella. We didn't get that with Maleficent. So I'm really happy that we are getting that with Aladdin because the music to me was such a big part of Aladdin. Maybe not Sleeping Beauty or Cinderella, but with Aladdin. It can't be Aladdin if you don't have songs like Friend Like Me, A Whole New World, Arabian Nights. That is um, the you ha one step ahead. You have to have the music from Aladdin to make it Aladdin. And so what we heard from A Friend Like Me, um, Prince Ali, and I think we heard Prince Ali. I know we for sure we heard Friend Like Me, 
and a whole new world. That is, I'm loving it. I don't think anything could take away from the classics, but hearing those two songs in their new versions had me like, this is amazing. They updated the songs. They sound good. I can't wait to see them in the movie, in those sequences. I can't wait to see what they look like. I am now actually pretty pumped to go see Aladdin. So I'm excited. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any trailer reactions in the future, in the coming future, simply because I don't know any other trailers that are dropping soon. Um, I do get the idea that maybe I should focus more on trailer reactions. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want me to continue my somewhat weekly vlogs or just really focus on trailer reactions down below. Um, some trailer reactions I know hopefully we'll be getting in the near future that I'll be able to do reactions to. We do have Star Wars Celebration coming up in a few weeks. Um, Hopefully, at that time, we will have a teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode Nine, as well as the title and the teaser poster. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to watch the panel for Episode Nine and try my best to get a reaction. And if not, I'll just do an after a reaction of me afterwards. So hopefully, I'll be able to get that. They did announce they're doing three animation panels, so hopefully, we get a trailer for Clone Wars Season Seven, so I will be able to react to that as well. Maybe something for The Mandalorian. Um, but also don't forget, we have more Disney movies coming out. We still haven't really gotten an official trailer for The Lion King or Toy Story 4. Um, we have a teaser trailer for Frozen that I didn't do a reaction to because I try to stay away from teaser trailers for the most part. But, yeah, so Aladdin. So just keep that in mind that I will be doing some more reactions in the future. And you guys let me know if you just want me to focus on reactions and, like, movie reviews and stuff like that. Or if you would like me also as well to continue the weekly vlogs. So, with that being said, I am off for the day because I do have to work, but this is a great way to get me jump-started for my work day and help me get happy, stay happy and preppy because now I'll just be in my head going, friend like me in my head because I love that song. So, I'm going to get going, you guys. Stay safe, stay sane. Drop a comment down below and tell me what you guys think about the new trailer for Aladdin. Did you guys see the sneak, the special look and kind of turn off of it and the trailer turned you back on or have you been on all the way and the trailer's just getting you more excited? And also, don't forget, let me know, do you want just reaction videos and movie reviews, or do you want more vlogs? So, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like or subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys!